send uh, this to the select committee and we will look at the details there. Thank you. Well done. Madam Speaker. I call Alistair Scott. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Well, you heard it there first. You heard it from the New Zealand First MP. I, I, I can hear everything. Uh, excuse me, Madam. We heard it here first. We heard that New Zealand First wants to create some sort of dry share so that foreign investors won't receive a dividend from an investment that they might make in New Zealand. That's, That's what, right. in jest, in jest, maybe tongue in cheek, but it just demonstrates the attitude that comes from the 5% party that uh, controls the other 49%. That's right. So, so ma Madam Speaker, that is the policy that comes from New Zealand First, dangerous as it is. Now, Madam Speaker, I'd like to commend uh, Todd Muller, Mr. Foyfoy. Mr. Foyfoy, Mr. Foyfoy, I'd like to commend Mr. Muller for his, uh, Mr. Farfoy, for his uh, luck and good fortune in drawing this bill from the ballot. It is a good bill. It clarifies, it clarifies a number of uh, things. Uh, can we just stop the cross while there is a member on their feet? Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, but I would like to uh, agree with Mr. Farfoy when he talked about. Um, the language that's used in perhaps the explanatory note and elsewhere, talking about dread and wet and dry, and Mr Farfoy eloquently explained the difference, but this does not just apply to dairy farmers. This legislation applies to companies, not just co-ops. Mm. So this uh, enables clarification for all companies to determine uh, who receives what dividend uh, across any particular share. Uh, and others have already explained the contradiction, uh, p apparent contradiction or confusion between section 36 and 53, 53.2. Um, so I don't need to go into the detail, but other, other than to say that it, section 36 is a positive and then 53 uh, is slightly ambiguous and, and then brings in some negatives, brings in the words unless A, B or C applies. So as we know, the Companies Act can have a whole bunch of um, uh, quite confusing language, and I would uh, encourage the Select Committee to look at the language that's used in the proposed amendment. In the amendment, there's some double negatives there already. So uh, I encourage the Select Committee to look at that to try and make it as simple as possible for the layman to understand. Um, Madam Speaker, it is a good uh, clarifying piece of legislation. We're always going to be uh, looking for improvements in the Income Tax Act. Because it is so vast, it is so technical, there will always be opportunities to improve it because of the complex, complex nature of the Act. So I do commend uh, Mr Muller for doing what he's doing by bringing this uh, Member's Bill to the House, and, uh, and I do also appreciate the support uh, on behalf of, I'm sure Mr Muller will say, say so himself, a support from across the House uh, on this Bill. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I call Gareth Hughes. Uh, kia ora, Madam Speaker.